Good day, everyone. Welcome to another Doc Star production. I'm Dr. Daryl Wolf, and as most viewers know, I've been working with cancer patients for over 35 years on an emotional and physical level. And I will tell you this, the war on cancer is not with yourself. The war on cancer is with corporations and systems that you have grown to trust and have made you believe that cancer is out of your control and is a death sentence. I will tell you today, this is the greatest lie that has ever been perpetuated and installed into your subconscious. It is time to unleash your power to heal. With me today is Robert Carrillo, the executive director of CancerTutor.com, the world's most powerful cancer portal on the World Wide Web. But where this really gets interesting is there is no government agency regulating this informational site and there is not a corporation manipulating this site. This is a site of truth and hope. So Robert, who is Cancer Tutor? Well, Cancer Tutor was founded in 2003 by Webster Kerr, who was just a regular individual like you and I, uh, but he was suffering with hypertension and he had uh, been prescribed medication to take care of his hypertension, but wasn't satisfied with the results or the side effects that he was experiencing and started looking for natural ways to treat his hypertension. As a result, he stumbled upon natural cancer remedies in his research. And this became an interest of his, really a first love. And he began researching um, cancer and Cancer Tutor was born in 2003. Yeah, and I can tell you, I was almost at the birth. I'm, I actually came when the, baby was, when the baby was about maybe one or two years old, um, I started putting my uh, um, cancer protocols up on uh, Cancer Tutor, and that's how actually Ty Bollinger of uh, TTAC, The Truth About Cancer, uh, and I actually linked up way back then. And then he was just coming out with his book, right? And I was the first one to really start promoting his book. But what happened was, is it brought me and him together. The thing that people don't understand is, is that Cancer Tutor also is one of the best sites for practitioners to be able to uh, keep a pulse on what's going on in the cancer field and the best thing about it is, is that they know that it's the closest thing to the truth you're going to get with cancer. We have to get the truth out. We have to be able to support people because what people are right now doing is, is that they are living in total fear of cancer. They think that they're total, totally crippled and that there's absolutely no hope. It's like rolling the dice and if a doctor gives up on you, you're supposed to go home and get your will together. And we know that that has uh, uh, been the greatest uh, deception. Anyways, Robert, thank you. Yeah, thank you for those, those kind words. We hear those type of stories quite frequently. Uh, cancer Tutor's mission today uh, is to provide cancer patients and their advocates with additional natural and integrative choices to treat their cancer. And we do it free of charge. Uh, no cost to them whatsoever. Well, there's the other issue too, is, is that you do it at no cost. And uh, um, that's why we need to have people come together and help to support and bring even additional information to cancertutor.com, right? And to be able yes. to get, and we need practitioners to get out there and get the word out to all their cancer patients so that they can use this as a library. Yeah, absolutely. You see, because at Cancer Tutor, we raise cancer treatment awareness is what we're doing. We have over 600 well-researched and documented cancer articles on our website. Uh, they're studious uh, articles. One of the other things that we're doing is that we have a personal commitment to investigate and evaluate cancer clinics around the world. We have a very rigorous pre-qualification process where our goal 
is to put Cancer Tutor visitors in touch with the healthcare professionals that Cancer Tutor is pre-qualified uh, that we could vouch for and say, hey, here's a clinic that you should go look into if you need some help from a clinic. And that's one of the biggest issues. Um, you know, I, I deal with uh, a particular clinic in Mexico quite a bit. And um, that's an issue because there are so many medical clinics uh, in other countries that are um, coming off as a cancer clinic. And the thing is, is who's really out there watching? You know, you'll have the uh, medical system and the FDA, they just use a brush against everything natural. So, you, you know, that's a biased opinion. Whereas I think that that's an amazing thing because there needs to be a sheriff. There needs to be a sheriff that will give people what they deserve. You know, the worst thing that we really want to see, Robert, is telling people that there's an alternative and even a better alternative and that they can unleash the power to heal themselves and then actually go to somebody that is practicing hobby health and really is not a well-educated professional and coming from their heart, not from their pocketbook. And I think that's the issue that you're really trying to show people that even though you're on the natural side of things, you are not biased. You are really there for the patient. You're there for their family. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cancer Tutor has over 700,000 visitors a month that are depending upon us. And so, yes, we are unbiased. Uh, we're, we are going to vet clinics. We are going to vet healthcare professionals that are making claims of helping cancer patients. Uh, at the end of the day, we want to help the cancer patient and their advocates. And we want to do it free of charge, unbiased. Well, thank you. But I hope everybody just heard what he said. I mean, what website in the world wouldn't want seven? hundred thousand people visiting it now why are people visiting it because it's the reputation it's the reputation that they have of being honest and they have natural protocols that work you need to understand something here you know it's not just about um, doing something good for your body it's learning about doing something that's bad for your body and stopping it. And that is one of the main things that Cancer Tutor is known for, is, is that they can help you get rid of the things, the half-truths, and the things that have been taught to you by other systems that are actually tearing you down because there's an agenda behind the curtain. Well, there is no agenda behind the curtain when it comes to cancer tutors. So it's not just about learning how to bring in a natural protocol that will support your immune system and to support your body and to give you the health that you deserve. It's knowing what is unconsciously killing you or hurting you in the first place. Thanks, Robert. Yeah, well said. Um, additionally, cancer tutor, so that all your viewers know, uh, Cancer Tutor is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Uh, we are incorporated as the Independent Cancer Research Foundation. We have a board of directors with uh, well over 100 years of healthcare experience. And we've had an increase in our staff, just to show you how busy we are, we've had an increase in staff about 300% since 2015. Uh, we have, we're supported by a team of professionals. We have a full-blown editorial department. Uh, we have a design department, a webmasters, a film department, um, truly a you know team of professionals in order to deliver a genuine, professionally laid out product on the internet. And I think that that's one of the reasons that we're receiving those 700,000 monthly visitors. Uh, it's, it's quite a number, it's staggering. So 700,000 people come to your website. Now with all that traffic, I mean, it's only obvious that you have a big core group that are trying to manage all these cancer patients, all their 
facilitators and even the practitioners that come on, but where does the money come from? I mean, what drives the engine of Cancer Tutor? Yeah, um, we need your help. Uh, one of the things you'll notice on Cancer Tutor is that we don't sell anything. We don't sell a supplement. We don't sell advertising space. Everything's free of charge. But we invite your audience, we invite everybody that believes in this mission to partner with us via a monthly donation. Hey, it could be as little as $10 a month. Imagine the impact of 700,000 people giving $10 a month. We could reach millions, multi-millions of people. We could improve their quality of life. We could extend uh, the quantity of their life. It's, it's such a golden opportunity today. And not only for the cancer patient or their loved ones, but for other people suffering with cancer. So we invite them to investigate us, check it out. You believe in the mission? Consider making a donation to us on a regular basis. We'll put it to good work. Um, if you like the content that we have on Cancer Tutor, imagine what we could do with regular donors, um, with those type of monthly numbers. It, it would be incredible. Absolutely. And you know what? All the pink ribbons, run for cancer, jump for cancer, swim for cancer, cut your hair for cancer. Remember, you're cutting your hair for cancer because somebody just got chemotherapy, which take a look and find out where chemo comes from. And take a look at the success rate after five years from chemo is 2.21 or 2.23. I mean, come on. That's barely two people out of 100 after five years. The other thing is, is that by the time the actual money gets to where it's supposed to be going to help cancer, it's very little money because there's almost more people involved in cancer today than have it. Everybody's got their, their hands in this one. You know, when they say that uh, uh, cancer is genetics, it's in the genes. Well, it's only in the back pocket of the genes. So understand that. And the other thing is, is this, is, is that uh, everybody's being sold off by the pound and we need to understand the manipulation that's going on. And then the money that does go there helps to repair chemo equipment, bring in more chemo equipment, radiation equipment, having people x-rayed with radiation instead of thermography. Um, I had somebody come to the door the other day trying to collect money for, uh, for cancer, and I explained to her what cancer was all about. She didn't know what to say, uh, and, and nobody knows what to say when they truly find the way. And I will tell you one other thing, and then I'll give it back to you, Robert. If you truly want to give, you'll be giving to somebody in your family if you give it to CancerTutor.com. And this show is not about creating a pledge to try to get money out of you. I'm just trying to tell you that one out of two people in your family are going to get cancer. Now understand this, no matter how much you love everybody in your family and you are geared into natural health and you understand about cancer, only one out of 200 of your relatives and friends and family will ever even make the initiative to look at natural health. So they're going to get cancer. So the best thing that you can do is become the light, go to Cancer Tutor, learn what you need to learn on there so when it does happen, because it's going to happen, you will have truthful information. And if you're going to give to a cause, because we all should, you might want to consider this one. Thank you, Robert. Thanks, Dr. Wolf. And, you know, along, that, along those lines, uh, one of the things that makes Cancer Tutor different than other cancer support organizations, and I'm not talking about the conventional um, organizations, but there's a lot of other good ones out there like yourself, the Doc of Detox, for example. We're within the same family. You mentioned the truth about cancer. There's Chris Wark. Uh, we have the best answer for cancer, Annie Appleseed. All good organizations. They, these organizations, they're our friends. They're our family. Uh, they all have their own individual distinct flavors and cancer tutors position is the more the better 
um, because I don't think any of us have a big corporation standing behind us or, you know, some big pharmaceutical company or we're not getting a grant from the government uh, for what we're doing. And so this is, you know, this is important work um, because all of our organizations, we, we want the public to know that there are other options outside of the big three, which are the chemotherapy, the radiation, or the surgery. Um, everything you just mentioned is so, so important to understand. Um, so yeah, I thank you, you know, for those comments. Well, I, if I, I'd like to say this, and uh, um, some people may not really get this, but I just want to know where the love is, you know? Where's the love? And this is because I was dealing with a patient and um, her father just died of cancer and she was really emotional. And she said to me, why are people going to the medical system when they know and they see the damage that it does? And I said to her, I said, we could be here all day talking about it. But from the very moment that we get on this planet, we are taught to hate ourselves. And if we could just learn how to love and embrace and honor ourselves, we would never go near anything that would be damaging. So, you know, I, I, I need to ask everybody out there, when, when you see patients or friends or family going and getting chemo, understand it's not because they're dumb. You know, I think we actually pick the therapy to match how much we honor ourselves. And when we've been taught to dishonor ourselves, which the system does continually. We're never good enough. Nothing's ever good enough. I think we, we pick the foods to eat. We pick the people we hang around with. We pick the things we do to actually match that vibration. So the best thing that you can ever do for your family members is guide them to cancertutor.com and let them do their own work and just love them for who they are. Love them for who they are and honor them for who they are. And, and be the light. Instead of telling them what to do, you take the lead, right? And that's what Cancer Tutor has done. It's taken the lead. Am I right or wrong, Robert? You guys take the lead. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's something that we definitely believe in. And, you know, the comments that we get back from the public leads us to believe that uh, we have that deep conviction. We're, cancer Tutor is a veteran organization. We may be the very first natural cancer website out there. Not sure, but... It sure seems that way. We have a very long-term presence. And those other, those other uh, sister organizations that I mentioned, like The Truth About Cancer or you know, some of the others you mentioned yourself earlier, um, they depended on Cancer Tutor originally. And that's great. That's, that's a loving compliment. We hope that more organic organizations like those pop up that are free from pharmaceutical or corporate or government entanglements. Um, we hope they spring up all over the place. Um, this is not a competition amongst ourselves. This is about reaching the world with loving, illuminating, um, well-researched and documented, documented options for the cancer patient. Yep, absolutely. And you know what? I reach out to everyone and I'm reaching out to everyone right now and telling you that, you know, you need to get in, especially if you're a practitioner, you know, or you have an organization that you need to get in touch with Cancer Tutor and help to support their mission, help to get the word out. People like Chris Wark and his Square One program, uh, Ty Bollinger with his cancer symposiums, his natural health symposiums, all his I mean, we all need to work together. You know what? We may not be the large pharmaceutical corporation that can pay billions of dollars out to make sure that they come front and center everywhere in everyone's face. You know what? If you tell a lie long enough, everybody believes it, right? So, you know, as practitioners, the one thing I need to really say is, is that as practitioners, we still think that we have to be an island onto ourselves. I don't know, some practitioners think they're gonna run out of sick people, some people think they're not gonna make enough money. If all of us practitioners were to come together and become a coalition uh, of love, of faith, of hope, and uh, really embrace each other, like I have no fear, I will uh, uh, 
um, allow anybody, even if they do the same type of practice that I do, because it really is about, it's about our families and it's about everyone else. We need to come together. And the thing is, is that, Robert, I know that, you know, you may not um, feel this way, but actually, I really believe that Cancer Tutor is like the island that we all come to, to come together, to uh, um, share our information, to make a stronger, more beautiful world. And, you know, that's the place where we can all come together and meet and uh, become the power of one. Yeah, Dr. Wolf, that's a great comment regarding the unity between the organizations. We really do need to come together. Um, a good friend of mine, a mentor of mine, taught me many, many years ago that a choice of one is a choice of none. And in healthcare, that could never be truer. If there's only one choice for the cancer patient, for their advocate, it's no choice at all. And in a battle, uh, the first thing your opponent likes to do is to divide you. Um, divided, we're not going to get much, much accomplished. But if we unite, as you mentioned, under the umbrella of love, uh, providing that light, the truth, we're going to get a lot done together, for sure. We're going to change the world. Well, you're absolutely right. And just understand that uh, um, we are not organized like the medical system is organized, like the pharmaceutical corporations are organized. So what they've really mastered is instilling fear, not just into the average person, but they've instilled fear into natural health practitioners right across the country. And the thing is, is as long as we are fearful of telling the truth and becoming the truth and living our truth, then we really aren't going to be uh, united in our stand to actually help people. You know, if, if, if a practitioner is fearful, what does, what does that do for his patients? You know what? We spread it. If we're courageous, we spread courage. If we're fearful, we spread that. And to be honest with you, I don't fear anymore. But I will tell you, there was a time, Robert, okay, uh, probably about 20 years ago, I was fearful about everything I did. That and the thing is, is that's all imaginary. I mean, and if anybody has really shown courage, it's what Cancer Tutor does. So, Robert, what makes Cancer Tutor different than any other support organization today in the cancer field? Well, in addition to the things that I've I've already mentioned um, moments ago, Cancer Tutor focus is exclusively on cancer treatments or adjunct cancer therapies. We're 100% invested into cancer alone. So ours is not a website that you're going to go to and find information that's outside the cancer scope, uh, as it were. Um, however, the same things that benefit a cancer patient via our website oddly enough, are going to be the same things that are going to help you with your hypertension or your clogged arteries or your irritable bowel syndrome or what have you, because there's a lot of good information on our website. However, ours ex is exclusively on cancer. And as previously mentioned, we don't, we don't have anything to sell. Um, we have just this incredible domain authority ranking on the internet. And there are millions of websites out there in the world today, and they're ranked from one to infinity. Some don't even rank. If they don't rank, it's simply because nobody's looking at that website. There's nothing that the, the public doesn't find anything important on that website, or they don't even know it exists. But a Cancer Tutor's domain authority ranking today in the United States is in the 17,000. It's like, that's huge. That's significant. Uh, in the world, internationally, we're ranked in the 40,000 range. That means there's a, just an enormous amount of people coming to us that are looking for uh, information. And if you look up, uh, if you do a Google search and you're looking up natural cancer treatments or cancer clinics, Cancer Tutor is always going to hit on the first page. Uh, those aren't paid advertisements. 
Those are organic search results. We don't pay Google anything. Uh, the public has put us there uh, because they trust us to put out truthful information. Absolutely. And if I can back it up for a second, what I'd like everybody to understand is, is that remember something that not everybody has cancer, but everybody has cancer cells. Uh, people get cancer because they don't recognize the loving, gentle baby steps that they need to do each and every day to not get cancer. So understand something that if you have cancer, yes, you need a 20 foot ladder because you've got a 20 foot hole. But remember something that that same ladder only needs to be five feet long once you get yourself out of that hole. And so that's why the information on cancer tutors is so, vi so viable. You're just not going to have to go in as heavy, go in as hard. So remember something, the rules that get you well are the rules that keep you well. You just won't have to be so intense on your daily efforts, okay? So it's called catch up. You know, it's like if you have a visa card and you don't make payments for 30 years. You've got to make payments or that card's gonna be cut up. You've got to make payments on your body or it's gonna get cut up. And you, that's why you go in deep. And if you wanna go deep, you go to Cancer Tutor. But the thing is, is now that you know how to go deep, you just have to back off and use the same rules and you're set. And that's really what it comes down to. And understand something. Why would a practitioner that has his own business tell you to go to Cancer Tutor, okay? I don't get anything out of this. What I do get out of is, is that we are all in this together. As I told you before, once we no longer have fear, fear of loss, fear of money, then we can totally help our neighbors, our friends, and people around the globe. And that's what this is all about.